In this video, we're going to be taking a look at the Properties dialog in 3D Experience SolidWorks. If you're a desktop user of SolidWorks transitioning to 3D Experience SolidWorks, you'll notice a little bit of a change, but one way or another, it's really easy to get a hang of. Let's take a look. So I want to start just by taking a look at what desktop SOLIDWORKS had. It had summary, custom, and configuration specific. In summary, you could enter things such as your author, your keywords, your comments, etc. Then you go over to the custom where you can enter properties that will apply to all of your configurations. And then you can jump into configuration specific where you differentiate some properties between specific configurations. Now moving on over into 3D Experience SOLIDWORKS, now you only have configuration properties as well as properties summary. With configuration properties, you'll have all of your configurations listed, and then per configuration, you can choose the type of control you want. Then in the property summary, you'll have all of the properties that are listed among configurations, and you'll be able to jump through those and modify them on a configuration to configuration basis. Now it's worth noting that this dialog box is only available if you have the 3D experience integration turned on in your system options. Without the 3D experience integration turned on, you will not be able to see the new updated version you will still have the old desktop version as well as the old configuration manager if you don't know anything about the integration and what's new with the physical product side of configurations take a look at our physical products configurations video that'll go over that much more in depth so with this new configuration manager let's start here on the configuration properties in this part i have three configurations in uh, the other two configurations there's just a description text which is pushed and the first one, I entered property one, property two, and property three, where I entered this configuration, all configurations, and specify configurations. So here you can choose what setting you want that to be. So let's turn these to what the corresponding value is. So this one will leave as this configuration. Let's change this one to all configurations, and let's change this one to specify configurations. Now with this, you can choose which configurations you'd like to apply to by clicking and clicking on uh, once more to unselect it. So here I'll choose configuration one and configuration two and leave the third one off. Then you can select okay. And then if you apply those properties, by going into the property summary, we can take a look at property one, which was configuration specific. It didn't apply to any of the other configurations. And from within this page, you can go ahead and change that property if you'd like. Now, as this is automatically this configuration only, it won't affect any of the other configurations. Now here we can see with property two, which was all configurations, it just pushed it to all of the other configurations. And you can see if you change it, it pushes that change to all configurations. And then on the last one, you can see that it just pushed it to the configuration two and left configuration uh, three unchanged. So something to note with specific configurations is that if you are going to update it, it doesn't remain as a default. So it'll default back to this configuration only. And if you want to apply that again to specific configurations, you just have to go in, you make an update, specify configurations, choose your configurations that you want to push it to. And you'll see that it pushed it to the ones that I just selected there. Now with this properties, you are still able to drop down and have your default properties here and manage your linking. So that is the same as the traditional desktop property manager. All you have to know is that there's just now a different organization of how you manage these properties. So the last thing that I want to know is that as you're creating these properties, these are not necessarily pushed automatically to the 3D experience platform. What I mean by that is that as you move to the platform, you'll see each configuration show up as a separate physical product. Uh, watch that physical product video if you would like more information on that. Now with these configuration specific properties, if you would expect each of these physical products to have those linked in their information panel, you can do that, but that's called attribute mapping. There's also a video on our page just about that to guide you how to set that up as well. But that is not a default uh, where you enter the property and it will show up here as well. You have to map that property. All right, that's it for navigating the properties panel in 3D Experience SolidWorks. Thanks for watching and be sure to reach out if you have any questions.